ramen or heating up that Easy Mac late at night? Well, we can help. Hi, I'm Andrea and welcome to Coog Life. Today we have a special guest joining us, Jose Soto here from Coog's Kitchen. He's here to show you how to make quick, easy, and delicious meals straight from your dorm. Let's go meet up with him. We're here in Coog's Kitchen with Jose Soto. Hi Jose, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> oh man, it was my pleasure to be here. So what will we be making today? Alrighty, well today I'm going to show you how to make three dishes that are both easy and very convenient for the college student. First we're going to start off with a nice ham and cheese quiche. Then we're going to be moving on to a simple chicken quesadilla. And finally we're going to end with a nice and sweet chocolate mud cake. Oh man, it's awesome. And the best thing about these dishes is that they all involve little time, little ingredients, and most importantly, the only cooking you need to do is in the microwave. Sound good? Sounds delicious. Let's get started. Awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, awesome. Well, the first dish we're going to be making is this ham and cheese quiche. So what is quiche for those of us that aren't familiar with the kitchen? Alright, well that's a good question. Pretty much quiche is a breakfast pie. Alright, so you ready to get started? Absolutely. Fantastic. You got your mug? Yep. Alright, cool. So the ingredients you're going to need for this quiche are a half a cup of cream. I'm using cream because it adds a nice creaminess to the quiche, hence the name. But if you want something healthier, you know you can definitely use skin milk or 2% whole milk, whatever you like. Then you're going to use some eggs, Q-tamp, and cheese. All right, so you ready to start building the I'm platform? so ready. Let's All do right, it. cool. So first, we're going to take our egg, okay. and we're going to crack it into the mug like so. So what you're going to want to do is just tap the egg on the side, give it a nice crack. And once it's kind of broken right here, just take your two thumbs, split it like so. You got it? Got it. All right, awesome. Next, we're going to take our ham. Just take like a good little handful of it. Put it in the mug. All right, there you go. Next thing, take some cheese and don't be shy. And like it did, what this is, is that it's a Colby Jack. It's like more from Mexican blend and all that. But if you want to use mozzarella, normal cheddar cheese and all that, you can do that too. Any cheese will work fine. So like I said, as you already got ahead of me, we're going to sprinkle this cheese nicely into the mug. Then so can we also tip? add yes. some bacon or vegetables? Oh yeah, of course. If you're vegetarian, you can definitely add some like bell peppers, onions, whatever you like. Pretty much this is your dish and I'm building the foundation. So then we're going to take our cream, half a cup, pour it right into the mug like so. Cream for you. All right. With a flick of that wrist, just mix all your ingredients together into the mug. Look at the flick of that wrist. Gives you a nice little workout too. I do, I do. And once the egg's been beaten, it's gonna be a nice little yellow color like, like so. How's yours looking? Pretty runny. Fantastic. Alright, then well let's go run this to the kitchen. Alright, so on to the next dish. So I gotta ask you, how do you feel about quesadillas? Love them, one of my favorites. Oh yeah, the best thing about it is if you didn't know, they're super easy to make in your yard. Alright, so what you're gonna do, just take one tortilla for now. This is gonna be our base. Alright, grab a pinch of cheese, and this is gonna be the bottom cheese. And what the cheese does is not only does it have the flavor of cheese, but it acts as a glue, stick the whole thing together. So it's kind of clever, those Hispanics. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna take my cheese, sprinkle it right there. And I forgot to mention also that you can use any kind of cheese you want. Right now, I'm still using the uh, Mexican blend, save me money, you know, using what I got left. Very smart. Alright, so get a nice helping of cheese right there. How's yours looking? Awesome. Next, we're going to grab our shredded chicken. And what we have here is any shredded chicken, but you can use any meat you want. If all you have is lunch meat, throw it in there. If all you have is like vegetables, throw it in there. Whatever works. This is also a thing I like to say, be your own chef. It's what you want to do. All right, so we're going to take some, some of the chicken. Do not be afraid to help yourself. No one leaves my kitchen hungry. And lastly, we're going to have one more layer of cheese on top. Okay. I don't really think then, you could ever have too much cheese. Nope. If you don't like cheese, then you know what I say to that? How dare you? <laughs> Sorry for the fun, y'all. Alrighty, so just continue adding a little bit of cheese. This looks about right to you. Awesome. And then just take one, the last tortilla, put it right on top, and give it a nice little smash. Alrighty, so you ready for another trip to the kitchen? Absolutely. Alright, let's do this. Alrighty, so now time for dessert. Sounds good? Sounds great. Awesome. So what we're going to make is we're going to be doing the five minute chocolate mud cake. The ingredients you're going to need are some cocoa powder, milk, and as explained before, I'm using 2%, but you can definitely use skim or whole milk, whichever you like. Some vegetable oil, chocolate chips, eggs, granulated sugar, 
vanilla extract, and the flour. It's a lot of ingredients, huh? That is a lot. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, take our eggs, and if you remember technique, crack it into the cup. Oh, oh, you good? All right, cool, and discard it. Next, we're gonna take our flour and add four nice spoons of it, like so. Two, dress, and four. Awesome. Here you go, ma'am. Yeah. All right, and once you do that, same thing with the sugar, four spoons. Next, you're gonna take the cocoa powder, add two nice big heaps of it, like so. As you can tell, I am in love with the cocoa. <laughs> I'm in love right. with the cocoa. Fantastic. Here you go, ma'am. All right. Then once you finish there, we're going to take our milk. Let's add three good spoons of it, like so. One, two, three. And after you put in the milk, add your oil. And a good way to remember it is the uh, liquid. Each liquid, the milk and the oil, just need three spoons. Next. I try to just add a nice little splash and splash. There you go. Alright. Now you ready for another workout? Yes. Alright, let's mix it up. Look at the look at there is there is. Awesome. So I gotta ask, do you do any cooking yourself at home? I do, I do, I do love to bake. Really awesome. What are your best like uh, dishes? Um definitely crinkles, which is basically a chocolate cookie with powdered sugar that actually tastes like a brownie. Nice, nice. Or awesome. Oreo chocolate chip muffin. Ooh, those are delicious. And speaking of delicious, I think this is just about done. So you ready to add the final touch to this bad boy? Yes. All right, we're gonna take our chocolate chips. And as you can see, I coated these chocolate chips with flour. And the reason why I did that is because it's a nice little cool baking technique in which if you coat it in uh, chocolate chips and flour, when you put it in the wet mixture, it won't sink to the bottom as it cooks. It's kind of nifty. E like it equally distributes all over the dish. And it's definitely right. good to know, especially if you're not familiar with it. Then once you put your chocolate chips in there, just give it a nice little mix. How are you looking? Very chocolatey. Hey. Well, you ready for our final journey? All right. What do we All do? right. To the kitchen we go. All right. Awesome. Well, the food's ready. You ready for a nice little taste test? So ready. Fantastic. So your choice though first, quiche or cake? Cake. All righty. Here you go, ma'am. Here's your cake. And give our little audience a show what it looks like. All right. So, you ready? One, two, three. Mmm, so good. Delicious. Now, you ready for the quesadilla? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. All right, cheers. Mm. Perfect. What do you think? So good. Awesome. All right, and like I said, these were totally easy. You can do them anytime, anywhere. 